friends, I am Anika Larson, aka Green Mom AF, and this is the Broadway vlog to save the planet, where I want to help you go from feeling helpless and hopeless to helpful and hopeful, which is what the UN Global Goals for Sustainability did for me. Today, we are talking about goal number two, zero hunger. Sing it, Gregory. Zero hunger. And here to talk about it with me is a star of stage and screen, Barrett Foa. Hi, Barrett. Hey, Manika. I can see out your window that you are coming to us from Los Angeles, where you live now. You, you moved out there to be an NCIS LA for 12 years, right? Just a quick 12-year show. Just a whoops. <laughs> I sort of tripped. I got here and then kind of won a lottery ticket. And, and it's been amazing. And now I'm excited for what's next. Maybe it's Broadway. Because before Barrett was a TV star, he was a New York City theater kid. Um, oh, yeah. You got your big break playing Jesus in the 2000 off-Broadway revival of Godspell, the one with all the crazy talent. He has performed on Broadway in Mamma Mia, the 25th annual Putney County Spelling Bee, and Avenue Q. Do you know what I was thinking? Is those puppets are such an amazing example of global goal number 12, which is responsible consumption and production, because those things are handmade, built to last. They are not meant to go into a landfill. They are repaired when they start to fall apart, and then once they're done, like in the Broadway show, they rent them out to regional theaters or college productions or whatever. Like the theater world is really good at that, like with costumes and stuff, really making sure that stuff is built to last and have more and more lives. It's true. I never thought about yeah, that. Right? I like that. Go Broadway. Barrett, your career, <laughs> yes, has been really impressive, but so is the organization that you are vice president of the board of um, and that addresses the global goal we're here to discuss today. Um, first of all, can you tell us what the goal of this global goal is? Yeah, it's to end hunger achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. Sing it, Gregory. And hunger, achieve food security and improve nutrition and promote sustainable agriculture. Hunger is the leading cause of death in the world. Unbelievable. Our planet has provided us with tremendous resources, but unequal access and inefficient handling leaves millions of people malnourished. If we promote sustainable agriculture with modern technologies and fairer distribution systems, we can sustain the whole world's population and make sure that no one will ever suffer from hunger again. Yes, and your organization, Everyday Action, is an ingenious example of people in the entertainment industry helping in these efforts. Please tell everyone about it. Basically, Everyday Action, we're sort of bridging the gap between Hollywood and the unhoused, right? So. We safely, swiftly, and legally pick up all the uneaten, gourmet, catered food from sets, and we give it to people who need it. <laughs> it's really sort of simple, but in the past, all that food was just scraped into the dumpster because everyone was scared. Oh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to give it to uh, an unhoused person or, or or someone with food insecurity, and we figured out how to do that. And so we're reducing landfills, we're creating tax breaks, we're reducing carbon footprints, and we're feeding people. It is so exciting because, yes, and also like with all efforts out there, really, that, that it, it checks off more than one global goal. It's not just about zero hunger. Yes, you're feeding people, but also responsible uh, consumption and production, number 12, because you're not, there's this food that would otherwise be waste and would go into landfills and create methane and um, be a huge problem. It's, it's, it's ending up in people's bellies. And then also the people who do the driving, the people who do the delivering are, tell who are those people? We hire PAs and background actors who are in between gigs to drive around to pick up the food and deliver the food so they so can make a little bit of a living wage and, yes. and piece together. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's that's, everyone wins. That's it. global goal number eight. That's decent work. So like just the and part 17, which is partnership. You're partnering with all of these sets and then you're partnering also with all of these locations where you take the food. It's just, it's, I, so I've been a little obsessed lately with this Arthur Ashe quote, which is start where you are, use what you have and do what you can. And everyday action is mm. such an unbelievable example of people using what they have and doing what they can locally. So now, globally, if we widen the lens back out, some of the targets of this goal are... The targets! To ensure universal access to safe and nutritious food. And all forms of malnutrition. Ensure sustainable food production and resilient agricultural practices. 
double the productivity and incomes of small-scale food producers. Invest in rural infrastructure and agricultural research and technology. And prevent trade restrictions that distort world agricultural markets. Yes. All right, folks. So probably you're thinking, what can I do? What can I do? Our problems can seem so massive and the solutions so out of our control that I know I do often feel overwhelmed and helpless, but you are not powerless. There is always something you can do, something that is manageable in your life. If we all just keep trying to do the next right thing. Do the next right thing. Together we can achieve these goals. Yes, we can. Yes. Okay, so of course, you can always find a goal to charity like Everyday Action and make a donation, big or small. Buy local and in-season food or try to grow some of your own. Don't waste food. Freeze it if you don't have time to eat it before it goes bad. So many fruits and vegetables that are perfectly good are thrown out because their size, their shape, their color doesn't seem to be quote unquote perfect. Buy those Buy, those Buy the funky, funky fruit. fruit. Yes. <laughs> Consume less meat. The meat production industry has a huge impact on the environment. And as always, stay informed and vote. Vote. Vote, 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 vote. Barrett, as always, we end the Broadway vlog to save the planet with the lightning round. The lightning round. All right. <laughs> We're going to start the clock now. Which rich character in a musical would be most likely to give away all their money if they really understood the devastating effects of income inequality? Daddy Warbucks from Annie, the King of Siam from The King and I, Ava Perone from Evita, Benny from Rent, or Trekkie from Avenue Q? <laughs> Trekkie from Avenue Q. Okay. What is the most important thing for you to do to regenerate? The thing you need to take care of yourself physically or mentally? Meditate two times a day, every day. Wow, good for you. For 10 um, years. Do you love the taste of New York City water as much as I do? Yes, 100%. I grew up with it. That's my that's my water. I was just thinking about that this morning. Stop talking, Barrett. It's a lightning round. Focus. <laughs> True or false? <laughs> True or false? Theater makers, as storytellers, are uniquely positioned to shine a light on inequality and injustice and to help rectify it. 100% true. What is the greatest theater city in the world? New York City. Who is greener, Elphaba or Greta Thunberg? Greta. Yeah. Which of these invasive species in New York City would you most want to lose in a mixed martial arts battle? Rats, cockroaches, or red spotted lantern flies? Oh, I think those red spotted lantern flies are doing bad things. So even though I really don't like cockroaches, I'm going to go for the lantern flies. Which family was right? A, the Montagues, B, the Capulets, or C, we should just give peace a chance? C! Who has been one of but your favorite... But as long as they're organic peas. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Who's been one of your favorite people to work with in this business? John Tartaglia. Ah, oh, nice. Love, he was such that. a joy, a joy to yes. understudy. Yes, original Princeton in Avenue Q. Ding, 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 ding. Thank you, Barrett, and thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this time with Barrett as much as I did and you want to hear even more, join me on the Broadway Gives Back podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. My friends, when you are ever feeling down or scared about it all, please know that the climate revolution is a groundswell with more and more people out there every day innovating, problem solving, making good trouble, all in the ways that make sense for them and who they are, and you can too. Maya Angelou said, good done anywhere is good done everywhere. Together we are going to make a greener and fairer and more prosperous world.